Ladies and gentlemen, the numbers are in and they are sending shockwaves through the Washington establishment. Donald Trump isn't just leading in the polls. He is dominating from Pennsylvania to Wisconsin. The MAGA movement is surging. Here's the kicker. While Trump's star is rising, Kamala Harris is sinking faster than the Titanic. And the reaction from the liberal media, total meltdown. Stick around, folks, because we're about to dive into the numbers they don't want you to see. And speaking of rising to the top, let's talk about something that's keeping millions of men from reaching their full potential. You might think you're doing everything right to stay in shape, but there is a hidden enemy sabotaging your efforts. It's not your workout routine. It's not your age. It's a common food. It's absolutely decimating your testosterone levels. Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, your friends over at V-Shred uncovered this testosterone killer, and they're exposing this health cover-up. You want to know what it is? Head to SculptNation.com slash NNN. Now it's linked down below for your convenience. Your peak performance depends on it. Okay, let's get right to it. Got a lot to unpack here and uh, some new investigations that are going to freak you out. First up, we got Pennsylvania. Uh, insider polling has Trump at 49%. Harris at 47%. That's big news. Uh, also, other breaking news. This is the beginning of Russia, Russia, Russia Part 2. It is just happening. Uh, call to activism. This uh, I believe this is a, a left-wing channel, left-wing account. Founded by attorney Joe Galena to stop Trump and the GOP. Yeah, okay. He says, major breaking news in a shocking expose of the New York Times. Actually, it wasn't the New York Times. It was uh, a book. Has uncovered that Donald Trump has secretly spoken with Vladimir Putin as many as seven times since leaving office. The conversations coincided with Trump pressuring Republicans to block military aid to Ukraine. See, you know what's happening. They're, they're planting the seeds of the next narrative to get ready for my reaction to this guy. So this is the beginning of your next impeachment plan. That's what it's all about. They're, getting, they're planting the seeds already. Brooklyn Dad Defiant, a, uh, another liberal cuck, he says it's insane that Trump had at least seven conversations with Putin that coincided with Republican efforts to block aid to Ukraine. And that traitorous effort isn't in handcuffs. Why well, have a Logan Act if you never effing use it? Yeah, this guy's like, see, he, he's one of the, the rabid left-wing Twitter guys. And uh, yeah, he's celebrating this point because he recognizes that this is the next, the next seed being planted for impeachment. Uh, Donald Trump dropping this new ad, Lig, uh, Libs of TikTok. We'll just share this with you real quick. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind. The president's withdrawal was a complete and utter catastrophe. The images of people hanging off of planes and desperate parents handing their babies over the airport walls to soldiers are seared into our country's collective conscience. The withdrawal was a catastrophe in my opinion, and there was an inexcusable lack of accountability and negligence. Everyday things like groceries are still too high. You know it and I know it. You are right. Prices, in particular for groceries, are still too high. The American people know it, I know it. Would you have done something different? Okay, so we got a new Russian narrative developing. Donald Trump rocking in the polls. Kamala Harris leading this state here. Leads Donald Trump in 51 to 46 in Morning Consult's weekly poll released today. This is from Simon Ateba. He reports this is consistent with her standing in last week's morning consult survey. So that's just one more poll. Amuse continuing to point out that this is Russia, Russia, Russia. Bob Woodward claims without evidence, 
Trump is still in contact with Putin, holding at least seven calls with the Russian president since leaving office. He claims an aide very close to the president as his source. Officer Liu pointing this point. First time in a long time, Pennsylvania Republicans outnumbered Democrats vote by mail requests. By a, by a hair, 8,299 Republican requests to 8,079 Democrat requests. At the same time, we've got a new terror threat report spreading to 29 states. I wonder how they got in the country. <laughs> Man, we better do an investigation, figure that one out. New House report warns of a persistent terror threat in the United States, revealing 50 plus cases tied to foreign jihadist networks and extremists across 29 states. We've got examples. A Turkish man in Kentucky, excuse me, trained by ISIS, a British national holding hostages in Texas, a Moroccan man sentenced in Minnesota for fighting with ISIS in Syria. The report calls for urgent action, linking increased threats to recent international conflicts and security gaps. Where? At Kamala's border. Center Square breaking that news. More on this. Okay, so this, speaking of, speaking of the border and the polls, Juanita Broderick pointing out that the polls are a disaster for Kamala since she started doing all the interviews. Let's keep the more on talking. The more she talks, the lower her polls go. President Trump leading in Wisconsin by three points, according to internal Democrat polling. That's huge. And that's why they need to do this. Cuando guste, o si gusta, nos ponemos en contacto, puedo traer una forma de registrar para votar. Si es residente del Estado, ciudadano. Sí. Uh, soy, soy, um... I came. I'm here right now, thanks to DACA. I renew my work permit every two years. Right now I'm looking into how to apply for citizenship. Oh, do you have a driver's license in Arizona? I do. You just need that in your residency. We'll get in touch, whatever you want. Gather all the friends who want to register to vote and tell me how many there are. And then, in break time during work, we can meet outside. Because I don't think they'll let me do it all here. Oh, yeah, sure. Outside, we meet in my car or in someone's or of yours. I register all of you. I bring pens and forms and all of that. Do you know there's a way to register to vote here? Oh, register to vote? Oh, you don't do that here? No? Ah, okay. What do you mean? I just heard that. A friend told me people were registering here. Or they were providing information about it. He told me this was here at the, at the place. No, I'm not sure. Because I work for an organization that registers people to vote but I'm not sure anyone was registering people here. Uh, you see what's going on here, folks? A Mexican offers to register non-citizens. This was put out by the Oversight Project just a couple days ago. Yeah, one day ago. Video obtained by Real Muckraker shows what has been called a conspiracy theory until now. In Phoenix, Arizona, a liberal Mexican man in a grocery store offered to knowingly register a non-citizen DACA recipient to vote. This is against the law. This is highly illegal, felonious activity. And it's being exposed right here. And this is just one spot in this country where it's happening. You know it's happening all over the country. Oversight Project, I'm going to go ahead and hit that uh, repost. You can check my X account. You can watch the full video. But, you see, when you get poll numbers where you see Wisconsin up by three points, you got more people to register to vote in Pennsylvania outnumbering the Democrats. You got new narratives developing about Russia. People are terrified of Trump returning to office. So they got to plant these seeds. They got to get these illegal votes in. 
and make it happen. They're terrified. So there you have it. The polls are speaking, and they're saying Trump 2024 loud and clear. But here is the million-dollar question. Can we trust all these numbers? We have seen polls be wrong before, and if the establishment will do anything to keep Trump out of the White House, what do you think? Were these polls the real deal, or is there another setup for a 2020-style surprise? Like we just saw, the illegal registering of voters. Is Trump's return inevitable, or is the swamp preparing its biggest trick yet? Sound off below.